Whoa! Hi there, I'm paleontologist Ben Francis Shelley. You might remember me from such things as... <laughs> the Megalodon is dead! What are you doing? And something, 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 Leviathan. Today, we're joined by a very special guest. The metaphysical form of Sir David Attenborough himself. That's right, he's in the studio. Please welcome Sir David. Whoa! Hello there, I'm Sir David Attenborough. You might remember me from such things as every documentary you've ever seen. On today's episode, myself and Ben will be talking about a marvellous new discovery in Basel. The oldest evidence of beach whales on the continent of Australia. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Let's do this. Thanks, Sir David. Now, beach whales are fantastic creatures. They're the deepest diving mammals on the planet. They can hold their breath for over three hours and 40 minutes. It's a long time. Any evidence, especially fossil evidence, is exciting. In the 1970s, a young scientist by the name of Tim Flannery was going for a dive in Bayside, Melbourne, Australia. As he went to the bottom of the seafloor, he found the tip of the nose or rostrum of a beaked whale. This is what it looks like. It's chunk. It's dense all the way through. Now, he may not have realized it, but it was the oldest evidence of beaked whales on the continent, dating back more than five to six million years of age. For over 45 years, the rostrum laid in the collections of Museums Victoria. All by <laughs> But they were all of them deceived, for there was more to be found in the depths of Bayside. In March of 2020, a handsome young chap by the name of Connor Brennan discovered another step. Just as I was about to enter the frigid cold water of Bayside, Connor appeared before me. He had his dive bag with him, he reached into the bag, and he pulled out this. The dense chunk section of a ziphiid or beaked whale rostrum. Amazing! I exclaimed. And when we went into the labs in Museums Victoria, the two pieces, the one that was collected in 1970 and the one that Connor had just found, joined together. The same individual, separated by eons, what were the chances it would happen again? In June of 2021, both Ben and Connor went for a dive in Bayside yet again. Fierce storms had moved around the sand. You may even say that it was a perfect storm. For on that dive, ten minutes in, Connor went to the bottom of the sea floor. There he found another section of beaked whale skull. It looked a little bit like this. It was strikingly similar to the ones that had been found before. <laughs> it was a match. And what a match! To the specimens that were collected in the 2020 and the 1970s. Now, with this new piece, we'll be able to better understand what these enigmatic whales were doing at a critical junction of evolutionary time. There's more out there, but we need your help in order to find it. Whoa! You can help Ben launch these expeditions into Melbourne's past by sponsoring him on Patreon. For the price of an overpriced coffee cup every week, $5 you can preserve the heritage of Melbourne. Now we've got to come up with a name for this big whale. I rather liked Bicky McDent's face. What about Bo? Put your suggestion in the comments below. David out. Whoa! Whoa! Thanks for watching, and as Sir David said, make sure you smash that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next Underwater Vlog.